Hey guys, it's Amber and I'm going to be telling you all about my favorite things from the month of July. So it was definitely my goal to get this video up within like the first seven days of the month, but this month has been so crazy already and July was just as hectic. I find that whenever I'm going through an especially crazy month that what works best for me is to kind of stick to the routine and the products that I know are going to work for me and give me what I need. That being said, I did still try out some new things in July that I'm really excited to tell you guys about and we're going to break them down into categories as per usual. So without further ado, let's move on to my monthly faves. I think that almost every favorites video that I've done has featured at least one product by this brand and I swear it's because it's really just that great of a brand. I feel like I'm discovering more and more from this brand every single month and I haven't hated anything that I've tried. In fact, I've loved almost everything I've tried. This month was no different and this month I'm telling you guys about the Wake Up Beautiful Math by Pacifica. If you watch my travel essential videos, I'll link it in the cards in the upper right hand corner. I always forget which side it's on. But yeah, this was in my travel essential videos as a must have when you're in flight to use as kind of like a little mask to add a little bit more moisture before you're taking off or landing. I've been using this religiously. I take it with me on planes, trains, in the car. Anywhere I'm leaving my house, this is probably in my bag. I use it of course overnight too when I'm just at home and it works so well. You wake up looking absolutely radiant with incredibly moisturized skin. The fragrance is also very calming. It has kind of like a soothing lavender scent to it I would say. I haven't had any issues with it breaking me out or making me extra oily or anything like that and I really do recommend this product especially if you're traveling a lot. Keep this in your carry-on. The next product is one that I also bought to have a small travel size moisturizer when I was taking my trip last month to California just because I hate having to like put my own moisturizer in little containers. I feel like it always ends up spilling somehow even with a Ziploc bag, but that's neither here nor there. I picked up this moisturizer because it came in a larger pack of like travel essentials that I found when I was shopping at Ulta, and I think I really just lucked out because I'm loving this moisturizer so much. It's the Thirst No More Moisturizer with Fruit Complex and White Tea by Formula 10.0.6. I've used this brand randomly in the past, but never consistently, but I have found a few good products for them, and this is definitely one of them. It's a pretty lightweight moisturizer. I've used it both in the morning and at night before bed, even under that overnight mask with really good results. I think that it kind of, it lasts all day, especially now that it's so hot out. I'm really not wearing makeup anymore. So it's just my moisturizer and maybe like filling in my brows and doing a little bit of mascara. So having skin that actually looks replenished and moisturized for the day is so important when you're not covering up any other flaws on your face or anything that you may see as a flaw. So I really recommend this moisturizer. It's really affordable. I found mine at Ulta. I will link it down in the description as well as all the other products I mentioned. All right, now that we've wrapped up beauty, let's move on to the tech portion of my favorites. This is another product that was featured in that Travel Essentials video, which I will link in the cards. And I honestly never thought that I was gonna end up having this product. I thought that they were poorly designed and it would never fit my lifestyle, but I was so, so wrong. So I walked into the Apple store to replace a pair of broken headphones that I'd had just a regular standard iPhone headphones. I've always loved the design of iPhone headphones and somehow I got talked into buying AirPods. Um, I'm obsessed. I don't leave the house without them. I thought for sure that I would lose them or misplace them by now, but I've had them for over a month and it's been nothing but smooth sailing, which is good. Um, they never really die on me. They last really long just charging them in the case, and the case doesn't die very easily itself. So what you do is you charge your case which with whatever regular iPhone cord you already have. It also comes with an extra cord. And then while your AirPods are in the case, your case is charging them. So it's kind of like they're never not being charged as long as one of those things is either on a charger or fully charged. Um, I think one charge is supposed to last you a couple of days, but I really charge mine maybe like... I think I've charged it fully twice since I've purchased these and I've had them for over a month and I only had them die on me once and that's when I forgot about them in like the depths of my carry-on after I'd unpacked everything but I definitely recommend them I've never had an issue with them falling out I haven't lost them yet so if you're in the market for wireless headphones consider a pair of AirPods they're working pretty well for me okay that's it for the tech let's move on to books so I first picked up a book by this author almost a year ago um, and I've been on the quest to read everything she's ever written ever since then and that author is Taylor Jenkins Reid. Most recently I picked up Maybe in Another Life by her and I think besides the initial book that I read by her which is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, this might be my new favorite. It's about this girl named Hannah who kind of doesn't have her life together. She's trying to put the pieces back together. She's not really sure what she's going to do for work or living. She's in the process of moving back to her home state of California where she's going to stay with her best friend. After she moves in, we kind of have a split in the book where 
each chapter is a different result of something happening in Hannah's life. So in one chapter, her life goes one way, and in another chapter, it'll be going the next. So we kind of see these two storylines play out. Everything comes together so well at the end. The ending, I was like, I really did not think that this trope could have a well done ending, but I should have known that if someone could do it, it would be Taylor Jenkins Reid because she really can do no wrong. I have not given any book by her that I've read anything less than four stars. This was like, I, I think I gave it a four and a half star, but honestly, it was a five star read. Like, I could totally see myself rereading this over and over and over. It was that good. I love the characters. I love the side characters. I thought the romance was perfectly done. So if you are interested in checking out Taylor Jenkins Reid or just a really good light contemporary read for the summer, I definitely recommend picking this one up. Okay guys, that is it for my July favorites. Comment down below and let me know anything that you really loved using in July that made your life better or easier or made your work better or easier. Always in the market for more recommendations. Make sure you thumbs up this video and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you get notified whenever I upload. I post new videos every single week and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!